it's Reflect here, uh, aka Jared. Some of you guys might know me, some of you might not, but today this is not about a vlog, this is not about gaming, this is a serious topic on what just happened about the Las Vegas shooting, October 1st at about 10.08 p.m. is when it started. Uh, lone gunman Steven Paddock, he uh, fired about for about four and a half minutes uh, using automatic fully automatic assault rifle on a crowd of people at the Route 91 Music Festival in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. He killed about 58 people, at least 58, there may be more coming soon um, due to over 500 wounded. You know, there's more than that. And, um, you know, this mass shooting is the worst in US history, it's the deadliest mass shooting so far. Um, he killed almost, he almost injured about a thousand people. One guy did this in about four and a half minutes using a fully automatic assault rifle. You know, there was another shooting, uh, Pulse Nightclub, Orlando, Florida, June, of t June 12th, 2016, about 49 dead. And then there's Virginia Tech in Blacksburg, Virginia, April 16th, 2007, 32 dead. There was Sandy Hook shooting, uh, there's about 28 dead, and then the Aurora shooting, Aurora, Colorado, at the movie theater, there's 12 dead, 70 injured. There's something that links all these things together, and it's assault rifles. Um, basically, each of the attackers were able to use their semi-automatic rifles, slash fully automatic, and were able to mow down a lot of people in a short amount of time. They chose these weapons because they knew that they didn't, one, they didn't really have to aim, and two, they would be able to do as much damage in a very short amount of time. Um, and Stephen, basically, he killed himself before the police were entered his hotel room. And um, he had a roommate, no ties to him, uh, involved in the attack. Um, so she's been clear of that. Um, I like, appreciate how the community got together and helped each other out. They made stretchers out of fences, they took strangers into cars, they helped people get away, they, um, you know, stuck their fingers in strangers' bodies, you know, to cover the bullet holes so they wouldn't bleed out. Um, but it just hurts to see the shooting, you know. I'm really appreciative that this hasn't happened where I live. Um, you know, and I'm really appreciative of that because honestly, I do not know what I would do in this situation. You know, I can't protect everyone. You know, I try to protect people, but one man can't do it alone. And I'm not saying to go out, you know, carrying guns and stuff and trying to protect people, but I'm just saying that, you know, we need to have better and stricter assault weapon ban. Um, I wrote an article uh, a few years ago uh, let me see when, on, um, I think, January 28th, 2013, at least that's when it was published in the newspaper. Uh, it was published in a few newspapers, one was Isiqua slash The Navish Reporter, uh, in the letters to the editor, if you just search, uh, Jared O, focus on assault weapons, um, and, uh, so, you know, there's, uh, basically, all these shootings have something in common, assault weapons. You know, because of their ability to kill people in a short amount of many people, excuse me, in a short amount of time, um, such weapons and the sales of new ones should be banned, or at least really, really uh, restricted. Um, the assault weapon ban, the federal assault weapon ban of 1994 to 2004, it basically there was a loophole, many loopholes, which allow manufacturers to continue to make these assault weapons. Um, I'm saying there should be a new, improved assault weapon ban. I'm saying that it should be stricter and more explicit. It should ban all weapons. It's capable of holding more than 10 rounds and firing rapidly by pressing the trigger multiple times. I'm saying that, you know, of course, military and law enforcement should have access to these weapons, but people who have assault weapons should, would be allowed to surrender them to law enforcement and receive a federal tax credit of the same of that weapon at fair market value. They would also be able to sell their weapon to a private party if both parties submit documentation to the federal government 
and the buyer passes a background check before taking possession of the weapon. Um, I'm also saying that, you know, the federal government should have the right to enter private property and expect your assault weapon within with a 72 hour notice. Um, and that, you know, that's kind of iffy, you know, but, you know, it might, it might prevent a shooting, you know, one day, that, who knows. But all of this does not violate the Second Amendment because citizens are still able to own assault weapons. And I do agree with the NRA statement that guns don't kill people, people kill people. But we can't lock up every mentally ill person. That's just crazy, you know. We can't do that. We can't tell who, who's mentally ill, who's not. You know, sometimes it's easy to tell, sometimes it's not. But, you know, some people might become mentally ill after, you know, a few years. Who knows? But, you know, one thing is in common that these murders chose assault weapons because they knew it would kill people, many people, in a short amount of time. So I'm hoping that the ban um, basically restricts people from buying guns that can hold more than 10 rounds because honestly we don't need that and for guns that you know have uh, those magazines that hold more than 10 rounds because honestly we don't need all that firepower um, I'm not saying we shouldn't be able to own assault weapons but we should make it harder for people to own them and uh, you know I praise all the first responders all the police all the witnesses who were able to locate the shooter and let police know where he were, where he was, I guess were, or was, yeah, fast enough, and for police to take action, so, alright, um, thank you for watching the 7 minute video, and I hope you guys stay safe out there, and remember, if you see something, say something, because that could end up saving lives, not just your own, but other people's lives, so, thank you. Let it go.